Welcome to the adventures of Consume Panchi, the immortal Sharingan wielding, soon to be dragon strongman of Japan. What was the end of episode yesterday? You're wondering, well, it turns out the base mod was a little more broken than I expected, so I had to basically dedicate most of the day to fixing that up. I rewrote the entire inheritance event for for the Sharingan. Uh, there's a little event associated with it and things like that now, so that should work. Same, same applies to all eye powers. I've done a lot of background work to try and make things actually work. The other thing as well is I thought my magical girls were broken. My magical girls were absolutely fucking fine. Turns out the game was uh, was handling decisions differently to I realized we're doing some fancy replace garbage. Anyway, uh, we can now demand that our daughters convert to magical girls. So say, for example, my good daughter, Panchi Narutoet, we could say, you're a bit shit. You've got stutter. We can hit her because we've got a magical girl lab with the magical girl transformation. However... They, as it says there, the character will no longer be able to marry, have children, or hold titles. So if we ever want to matrilineally marry her off, well, we, we can't. In exchange, though, we may unlock her powers. Now, she can, as it says there, uh, rebellious daughters of those in line for titles are likely to refuse. She can just refuse us. You know, we're not we're not exactly going to strap her to a bed and jets with magical girl powers. Though I am going to try it regardless. Actually, do we want to sacrifice her? Um, out of all of our daughters, she's the only one with a bad... Oh, there's also this one. Comely, tall... Uh, she'd make a better magical girl because she's got a bit more personal combat in hindsight. They have to be six, I think I said. Yeah, we're good. Hang on. Um, we have to have a magical destiny girl. So they have to, it have to be female, obviously, to be a magical girl. We're not that progressive. Do it. Oh, no. Your daughter denied your request to transform her into a magical girl. She claims you have no right to demand such an inhuman process. Very eloquent for an 11-year-old girl. Such dishonor. How dare she? Connor Tapanchi said... No, father, I will not be a magical girl. Fine, your sister, Naruto, she's not a disappointment. She's not a failure. More importantly, she is a magical girl. She actually accepted it. Thank fuck. Oh, incredible bit of coding there, Mr. Streamer. Thank you. I appreciate that. Definitely wasn't thrown together in the past five minutes. Uh, your daughter has agreed to comply with your demands and decided to go the magical girl transformation. Her screams echo through the castle, you monster. Sacrifice necessary for dynasty. She does gain the elusive and powerful trait Magical girl. Now, I know what you're thinking. Can Consume Panchi, the immortal Sharon God wielding powerful dragon god of uh, what is seems to be the whole of Tran, also become a magical girl? Fortunately not. I should really add a way to do that. But if we eat her, we also become a magical girl. Anyway, she becomes an incredibly powerful commander, but will most likely die. Um, and also can't get married or anything. You can see that she ha now has traits preventing marriage. Goodbye, Panchi Naruto. What the hell are we even doing today? Uh, we're going down the... True form, right? We're going, we're going down the true form path in order to become a dragon, a dragony man. Now, as with the Sharingan mechanics, and I know at least three of you are interested in that, given that it is a very funny haha -ha meme that I've actually spent way too much work on at this point. Instead, any characters between the age of like 12, and I put a limit on it, like 30, might unlock the Sharingan. They can get it at any time if they're under stress or difficulties or whatever. Anything can trigger that to fire. When it does fire, there's a small chance it can happen if one of the parents has a Sharingan. Specifically, 7% if you're interested. If two parents, I think I made it 15%. So, as it stands right now, all of our kids have a 6% chance, assuming the, 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 the 7% or whatever I said, uh, chance of firing if they're under stress or in a, in a bad time or at war or whatever that might cause that to fire. There's also a chance it can fail and it can only... that The, the chance of firing can only happen once, so it's not just like... You know, over years, they're just more likely to get it. it. It can happen once on once only during times of stress. That's it. If they fail at that point, they can't get it again. That way, it's kind of like the inherent chance, but it also ties into the, the story behind it too, um, which is, again, way too much effort for this fucking terrible mod pack we've got going on. My God. Long story short, it means that Panchi Squidward, my boy, has a chance of also becoming Squidward with the showering gun. is so fucking good. Anyway. Um, yeah, all of all of them can potentially get that uh, sharing gun. But if none of their parents have it, of course, if they don't awaken it, their kids then just cannot get it at all. So I'm, I'm praying on my boy Squidward here. Oh, also, if he does get it, we'll get an event that says, hey, Punchy Squidward got a got, got the sharing gun. You should be proud of him. Um, which was, again, not part of the base mod, so I thought I'd, I thought I'd spruce it up a little bit. So one thing that is cool that we definitely need to do as soon as possible is flip over to Japanese Feudal as our government type. What are we missing to be able to have that? 500 Prestige. What? One of these must be true. Prestige is... Oh, less than 500. Why? Is an independent ruler. Prestige is less than 500. Why would I want to do that? 
Do you feel like they got that backwards, maybe? Prestige is less than 500. Well, we can't do it ever in that case. Because I imagine by the time our son becomes of age, he's going to have more than 500 prestige anyway. Or by the time he takes control of the realm, I should say. Oh. Okay. Oh, I guess we'll just stick to our anarchy then. That we have to be independent. Um... All right, never mind then. What about Japanese monastic? I have no idea what that one does. Uh, we have to be Shinto. We have to be... Any du jour vassal title is a holy... So oh, right. So if we have a holy site. Oh, that's quite a cool idea. Okay, we could do that. We can't hold temple holdings, though, can we? As a Confucian bureaucracy. Uh, Castle city. Okay. So we might be able to revoke it and then convert over. And that would allow us to hold it permanently. But we also need one of the holy sites. Where are the holy sites right now for, for Shinto? Um... I, I can't see them. Where, where, excuse me. Where, where are the where are the holy sites, brother? Uh, oh, there's one. Okay, we've got one there. We've got one there. I, I could obviously clip the titles. Way too much work. Okay, so there's one all the way down there. Um, we've got one in the south of Japan. We've got one in the center. We've got one... Um, where's that one? One basically next door. And then we've got one... Okay, so this is the most likely one that we're going to be able to get. It's only three provinces away anyway. One, two... Yeah, three provinces away. So we might want to go for that one and then maybe try and flip over to Japanese. I Basically, look, I just want to see what the governments have got. Oh, shit. Shogun Franku agreed to back our plot to fabricate a claim on the duchy level title. Narumiko is pregnant again. Right, so that was the only thing I was concerned about was that Immortal would make us infertile, but apparently not. Lose paranoid, fine, whatever. Um, apparently we can still have kids, which is fantastic because now it's guaranteed in theory. In theory, it's guaranteed that we can try and set ourselves up to always have a Sharingan successor. What we really need is some of that divine marriage, you know? We need some of that good anime incest shit so that we can marry together brother and sister to keep that eye power alive. But like, like what the Targaryens did, you know? Um, either that or we need to find a way to actually get one of the other characters who have some of the eye powers to our court instead. What, basically, over time, in theory, more and more of them should spawn in. Because remember, that, that bloodline trait is, I believe, a 100% chance to inherit. It's then a chance whether or not they'll actually get the eye power after that. So, over time, that lineage will propagate. Because, as I recall, when a character dies, they... Well, oh, right, he's off, like, <laughs> getting a load of bastards, apparently. Um, but when those characters die, they respawn as a new character entirely. So, in theory, over time, everybody will have one of those fucking things. Or everybody will have the... The, the lineage. Actually, maybe in that case, that'd be a better thing to look out for. Rather than going for people who have the Sharingan and the Byakugan, going for people who have the... Hello. Birth of the Assassins. Word is spreading that sheer missionary. Great. Um, we should be looking for the Bloodlines instead, shouldn't we? And inviting those people over. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Re re refresh all. What's it called? Uh, lineage. That was it. Line lineage. Okay. Um, anyone within Diplo range? No one yet. But look at the amount of people that have it. And this has only been what? 23 years. Cool. Okay. Keep an eye out then. We always need to keep Diplo range set to yes. And then the second they become available, we need to do everything in our power to get them to our court. Rank up. Yeah, there we go. Okay. Um, so what is burn dragon incense? Hello. Uh, I almost said the other word that I said earlier. But I feel like if I say it too many times, you should be very angry at me. Enables right-clicking on your character's portrait in order to gain martial intrigue, learning, or fertility. Oh, that's a good one. Okay. Uh, burn me. That's uh, uh, Yon Hyakuniju. Moyase. Uh, 150. Shit, we're miles out. Okay, fine, whatever. Um, to be honest, we should really go for that dragon breath first. Hey, did we not already unlock that? Or am I going mad? Huh. I, I feel like we already unlocked one of those. Oh, was it dragon? Oh, we got the dragon heart, but not the dragon breath. Wait, I thought we got both. And one gave us the 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 way of the dragon leadership modifier. I feel like I'm going mad here. Dong Squidward has finished his education and became a thrifty clerk. I'm actually. Oh, he's so fucking bad. Seven diplomacy, nine martial, six stewardship, five intrigue, seven learning, minus one personal combat. You're garbage. Throw him in the river. C can I not convert you to a magical girl? Because you are this fucking terrible. Oh my god, wow. Tall, burly, and fertile. That's pretty impressive. What did we have again? Just strong. Man, that's fucking insane. Um, you're our, you're our magical girl. Hello. Wait. Magical girl, tiny daughter. I don't think we made a magical girl, tiny daughter, did we? Where, where's she gone? Punchy Tammy Tammy Yoko is <laughs> Um Wait, did I accidentally hit her with a magical girl? Oh my god, I bet I tested it in between episodes to see if it was working now and then accidentally forgot to revert it. Well, we've got a one year old soldier, probably the most strongest soldier in our entire realm. 170 <laughs> 
<laughs> oh shit. That's um That's a big mistake. Never mind. I keep thinking about Naramiko. She was the best of wives and would be without her oh, to be a Shugo. How I miss her. Uh Wenchin might make me forget her, or is it Emerson chance it'll make us incapable? You wouldn't. You fucking would not. You absolute bitch of a game. Paradox, you're gonna be getting a strongly worded email. You make me immortal, I think you'd be fucking incapable. No, come on, really? Oh, for fuck's sake. Great. Well, there you go. There's your immortality right there. With the Emperor of Mankind. Dragon God Sharingan wielding Emperor of Mankind right now. Um, you have fucking Dragon Breath. You have fucking Dragon Breath. Get out of here. Dragon Consume. You're ready to assume your true form. Embrace your destiny and unleash the dragon within. All right. Sure. I'll unleash the dragon within. Why not? What do I, what do, what do I got to do? Uh... Your next mission will allow you to transform. Oh, we've just got to do the mission. Boom. Everything's been leading up to this. Yeah, at the critical moment, you hesitate. Fondling the potion in your hands. You can't because you're incapable. Thoughts rush through the mind. Also, sorry. How does him doing a bit of a dirty fuck with a woman to get over his wife make him incapable? So we've got the choice of hiring guards to keep the peace for almost 200 gold. Peasant unrest everywhere or perhaps now is not the time obviously we'll just hire the guards then hopefully turning into a dragon will make our guy um quite literally unfucked to death ah here we go it has come down to this moment and with one last potion you can feel your body body compose and spasm uh, more apparently growing in size wings erupting from your back scales covering your skin oh my god it's a furry mod it's just hit me it's it's a furry mod or what are they called scalies you're truly a dragon now oh god they've trapped me Okay, dragons roam the earth. A big, dumb, incapable dragon, that is. Oh, for shit's sake. <laughs> what focuses can we go for? None, I assume, because we're incapable. Oh, brilliant. Yeah, no, that's really fucking great. Um, <sighs> whatever. Well, we, lost the, we lost the Japanese culture as well, which I'm not a big fan of. I'm going to convert back because that's not, that's not on the cards. Thank you. Um... We're going to be a Japanese dragon. We could always seppuku ourselves. I mean, there is an option just to seppuku ourselves. But I feel like you can't ever get cured of incapable, though, as far as I recall. I think we are genuinely just stuck as an immortal, cursed dragon. Can we still have kids, though, if we're, if we're incapable? These are the important questions. Minus 30%, but we've already got strong, which is a plus... 10%, so we're minus 20% overall, lustful, cancels that out. We're at, we're at base level fertility. Fine. Um, unless we blaze it up, boys. Hang on. Uh, how, how much was it to blaze? 300, I think? Should have made it 420, that would have been great. Okay, uh, let's get it, because that's that number. Uh, how do I blaze? Has culture dragon. Oh, you have to be a dragon to blaze it? Fuck off. No! No! <laughs> oh, shit! You can't do this. Bulmer's demanding we commit seppuku. Okay, I'm, I'm in part part of me is glad that this system actually works. Um, fuck, your dishonor is widely known, and demands for your seppuku have become publicly known. Refusing these demands were brand new dishonorable, and all would look down on you. Redeem ourselves. We commit seppuku and die, giving us some general opinion. Which obviously, obviously, when you die in CKs, you commit suicide. You get minus fifty general opinion. But I figured, given that it's obviously a more honorable thing to do, you should gain some bonus opinion so that when your successor takes over they have some opinion of predecessor bonuses because that would make sense um alternatively we can refuse it and try and stay alive a bit longer bulma you fucking awful whore <laughs> i can't believe you've done this i guess we're gonna have to off ourselves we don't have a choice motherfucker um fine Consum Apanchi, immortal dragon god, incapable because he fucked too hard, now has to commit seppuku because Bulma demanded it. Welcome everyone to the most cursed CK2 series in history. Committed honorable seppuku on the 4th of January 1091, and now we're playing the Squidward. Ah, oh, okay, you're gonna have to give me a minute because that whole, that whole thing was just garbage. Well, I guess here we are, my, my man Squidward. Um, 17. Wow. 17 with these stats. He's fucking atrocious. Now, I should point out, I didn't add a notification for a sibling's gain 
eye powers because they, who gives a shit? Chance are we're not going to play as, as them anyway. Um, but B for for particularly bigger families, where do you draw the line? You don't want to be notified every five minutes, especially if you're playing as one of those characters, like the the, the original characters that have the magic eye powers. So I figured it would probably be best to just have it to your limited, like specifically your heirs. We'll have to manually check if any of our siblings end up developing them. Those for for breeding stock. Let's have the magical girls. Oh man, I didn't think about that. If we turn them into magical girls, they can't breed, and then if they unlock the eye powers, although that'd be fearsome. Sailor Moon with a shower gun. Holy shit. Um. What do we want to do then? I think we want to go for... I think we want to go for anything that will make this character not a complete dumpster fire, which is quite difficult. Um, Paragon of Enlightenment. Enlighten me on how we're going to do that, my friend. Uh, wow, we can't join any societies besides the Ghost Gatherers. Fuck it, I'm going to join the Ghost Gatherers. That sounds incredible. What we can really do now is pray that our wrath, content, paranoid man unlocks his magic eye powers from... from uh, Daddy Panchi. Die too young. Take him from this world at his own... Oh, hello. I recently inherited an item from Sugar Panchi Consume. It has probably seen better days, Master. It God tells me what will we destroy. Skull trophy for 32 gold. I think it's probably worth keeping that. Just for the tick and prestige alone. Hang on, though. We've got less than 500 prestige now. Can we become Japanese feudal? Uh, blah, 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 blah. No liege has the government Chinese imperial, which is true. Any liege has... Okay, that's fine. Our liege has to be... Oh, Japanese feudal or monastic feudal as well, so our liege has to adopt it. Right, so we can adopt it if our liege becomes that. I assume that the, the, the other is true of maybe monastic feudal as well. I didn't read that far down. No? Uh, we can do it with um, Japanese monastic feudal. It's just we need... How much? 5,000 piety. That better be a fucking good government. So we might as well untake that one because that one's impossible unless we become independent. Because um, I can't imagine our liege is specifically going to flip over. Or if they do, I guess we'll keep an eye on things. You never know. Um, they are Japanese Imperial. So we, if we become a liege directly of uh, Shogun Franku, or if our liege converts, uh, uh, takes the event and converts to his culture as well. Famous Imperial Counselor. Look at that. This character has served for a significant amount of time as a counselor for an emperor. Tier 2 of 3. That's a cool little feature. Shugo Panchi Squidward. Old Sado. I hereby invite you to my Kuin Hanami. By my hand and my seal... Daimyo Fujiwara Moromichi Moro of Tokai. Sure, why not? We've got to go make some friends. You know, Squidward is out. Squidward hasn't got any redeeming features at all. He's a complete dumpster fire, like I said. So instead, we're going to try and work up. We're going to work up some alliances, that type of thing. She's pretty good. Midas Touch, she's got great stats too. Maybe we should be marrying for genetics rather than stats though at this point. Um... Oh, God. Yeah, maybe we should try and get Prodigy. No? Uh, what I meant by that was strong... 21 year old okay that's possible powerful we know there's oh how could you be powerful and weak oh god this mod has its own traits delicate okay you know what? i'll check that after um um genius did i check genius there's no genius Qu quick there's a few quick characters you know what? let's go for the strong character fuck it we're obviously going to go for mostly realm expansion by conquest i feel like this character is very 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 unlikely to fire off any plots, particularly that plot our previous character had going. That's not going to happen with this dude with his massive five intrigue. Um, I think we'll take the prestige at this point. What concubines have we got? Uh, we've got our father's old concubines. Yeah, why, why not? He's not using them, is he? Wait, did I see that? <laughs> Are the immortal woman's in our court? Okay, sure. She'll do for a concubine. We're having dinner and plenty of drinks at the Hanami Festival with Shugo Chiba Katsumoto of Tane. Why did Amaterasu make us curious? You think it's great to... Oh, okay. Is it just going to be devil worshippers but with a Japanese coat of paint? I mean, that could work to our advantage. Again, this guy has nothing to lose. It's not like he's got genius, attractive, or anything that could potentially be lost by some of the random uh, random events added by the ghost gatherers. We might as well try and use this to forward the dynasty, if nothing else. She's already pregnant. Holy shit. Never mind. I guess I'll die now. Sumahito is fairly sure you're developing camp fever. Is there anything in the area? No. Oh, God. <laughs> oh, God. So it could be something uh, incredibly lethal. No, we're fine. Okay. Nothing to panic about quite yet. But bear in mind, if this guy dies before he unlocks his eye powers, that's it. We've already lost it from our dynasty. Uh, unless any of our siblings get it. Actually, let's check all our siblings. Hang on. Hang on. Hang on. Hang on. Hang on. Hang on. Right. Refresh all. Stop. Uh, my dynasty. Eye powers. Nothing. We've got three magical girls and nothing to show for it. Who was... She died without a trace. 
Oh, damn it. She was the astute one as well. Bollocks. Okay. Um, I've, there's got to be some. Let's see if we can go for any of those lineage characters. See if they've propagated far enough yet. I doubt it. This has obviously only been a couple more years. Um, although some of them might end up being shipped off to China. If they're shipped off to China, that's within our... Uh, within our ballpark. Okay. Uh, Duchess of Brittany? Oh, she married the Duke of Brittany. That makes more sense. Um, okay. A sort by... There's none within Diplo Range at all. But we've got some up and coming ones here. So we can build a Samurai Dojo. Oh, we can build a Hidden Ninja Village. A Hidden Ninja Village whose sole purpose is to train the most flamboyant shinobi around. The village is <laughs> incredibly well hidden that you're not even sure it even exists. Uh, 50 Light Infantry, but they are some powerful Light Infantry. Alternatively, we could just build a Samurai Dojo instead. Uh, we got 30 Heavy Infantry for 15 Morale. I've got to build the Ninja Village, haven't I? To go along with our Magical Girl Labs. Do it. We'll build all of those first. Good God, that's... Which one is... Uh, Oh, hang on, hang on. Another one. Okay, fine. Um, So, the Gundam one. Yeah, that'd be quite nice. I think I think we might have to go for the... <laughs> we might have to go for the Gundam Manufacturing. That one's 1,321 gold. That would take genuinely years and years and years to save up for. I keep forgetting to rename these kids as well. That's my bad. We've got a very obvious naming scheme this time around. Um, Naruto at... Magical Girl Supreme. I I don't remember converting her into a Magical Girl. I feel like the AI might be becoming Magical Girls of their own accord. I suppose I didn't actually stop them from doing that. If they want to pursue their Magical Girl dreams, they can, but... Shit. What if they all decide to become Magical Girls? A daughter was born, and she's got Comely as well, which is pretty fantastic. Uh, let's go ahead and train you in... The Rift? Etika? I guess we could try and marry her off. Again, I'm not committing to the marry off the daughter strategy quite yet and going for alliances quite yet. Not until we know the state of our eyes. Um, disappear without a trace, huh? The immortal woman disappeared without a trace. Okay, that's fine. Didn't want her in my court ever. Let's go women, married, no, diplo range, preferably. Oh, Christ. Really? No prodigies in... Okay. Uh, genius? I suppose this is an issue with being at the edge of the map, right? Is that we're very limited in... We can, we can obviously only search in one direction for for people to marry. We've, we've lost all that all that diameter. Uh, I want to go for... What was I doing? Uh, also, who the... Sorry. Tilda. Tilda the Battle Nun. Who the fuck is she? Way of the Dragon? Rose Gardens? Patron of a Relic? Who is this woman? She'll do. Whatever. Let's get her to court. There we go. Send her, I had to send her a bit of a gift to negotiate that one. Boom. Okay. So she's strong. Lustful as well. I mean, it cancels out the, the fertility loss from Rinder Press there. Um, it's really another kind of point. Anybody. Really? Nobody? Okay. Um, can't be bothered. There. Perfect. Absolutely incredible. Exactly what I was looking for there. There's no other characters in the round with congenital traits anyway. I've checked all of them. So we might as well just go for whatever the game throws at this point. Crusader Kings. Oh, thanks for letting me know what's going on on the other side of the planet. Bishop's Crozier? The chair of St. Peter. Oh, we have seen that before because we heisted it, remember? I don't remember which character it was that we stole this chair of St. Peter, but I remember doing it. Oh, that's really good. I might have sat on a title with my spy master, Yor Yoramitsu, has advised me to forget about the title, saying I would never invoke too much wrath if I tried to claim it. My wife says do it. 80% chance of getting ambitious. Oh, that's such a good turnaround. From content to ambitious, and apparently we also unlocked a... We can now compose a book. Why? Because we're ambitious. Ambitious? Oh, I guess if you're content, you wouldn't... It's probably the fact that we're not content more than anything else. Sure, okay. Um, what are we skilled in? Nothing. Why did I even bother checking? Fine, martial theme it is. Can we put our new hidden ninja village to work then? Is there anywhere we can declare war on? Um, what, are we, what are we lacking? Just the gold at this point, right? Um, yeah, 302 gold and we'd be able to go to war again. I think that's probably better than trying to save up for... Hello. Uh, probably better than trying to save up for... Gundams. Oh, a son was born named Consume. Fine. Consume Panchi II. Train him in struggle and give him a martial education worthy of the name Consume Panchi. You know what? Let's trick him at like... Here, Sakura. Magical girl? Give him some magical girl training. To invigorate you, Sumahita recommended you consume what made you strong in the first place and provided you with jugs of human breast milk. His own. I can only assume. Sorry, Sumahita. This milk tastes a bit strange. Oh, great pox. Uh, fuck, don't die from that, come on, um, family focus gives health and fertility, that's basically what we're after right now, uh, as long as you know what you're doing, 
There we go. We're fine. Nothing to worry about. I've thought it over. I cannot be the father of my wife. K Deco's baby. As he grows in her belly, I have trouble sleeping. I must put this massive to rest. How is someone to find out? <gasps> oh my god, because he's dying. Holy shit. My blood carries mythical powers beyond the rich mortal men, but not everyone with my ancestry awakens the power. Finally, after years of waiting, my vision grows strange, and the power contained within my blood surfacing, and I have awoken mine hidden strength. And then it will send an event to his father who's dead. So you haven't really thought it's through, have you, genius? Okay, I looked at the code. I accidentally spelt it Sharagon rather than rather than Sharingon. Uh, so we actually did hit that. What was the chance of that again? Hang on, let me just go back and double check. Um, right, blah, 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 blah. So the chance of actually getting it with one parent, yeah, it's 7% chance. Um, both parents have it, it goes up to 15% chance. And then if, if one parent has a Biakon, one parent has a Sharagon, obviously you've got 7% chance of either. Um... Oh, holy shit, that's insane. Damn. Okay. I'm, I'm pretty pleased with that one. Nice work. So that's going to live on for another generation. But we got very fucking lucky with the fact that my man almost died to have to get it in the first place. So let's not do that again. This time we're going to focus on having a big dynasty. We're not going to become a dragon. We're not going to whore ourselves to death. We're just going to take no risks at all with boring old Squidward. And we're just going to make sure... That our bloodline lives on. What's wrong with her? She didn't seem worth saving. Ugh, fuck off. Why do you keep doing this, you video game for masochists? Immortal dragon, incapable. Magical Sharingan eyes, lunatic. Look at his fucking face. <laughs> oh my god, his eyes are so scary now. My core physician, Samahita, was worried about my newborn daughter. Pat Butcher is a feeble thing, even compared to other infants. Samahito says she might have lived to see her first birthday. Um, Samahito must attempt to save my Pat Butcher. Or we say only the strong survive. That's very much a dynasty slogan at this stage, isn't it? It's basically either you gain some unique power or you die. Actually, you gain a unique power and die. You just die either way. Death awaits us all. Fuck it. Just chuck us straight in the ocean. Get it, get it over with. Fuck off. Oh, well, at least she's Pergonant. We got a we do have a chance, bear in mind, once again, of passing on the Sharingan. Assuming this character lives beyond... Okay, we're fine. Excellent. Okay, that's fine, that's fine, that's fine, that's fine. Alas? Pneumonia. Pneumonia and the Great... Oh, well, you can't get rid of Great Pox, though, can you? No, 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 because it's Syphilis. Oh, my God, it's a permanent minus two health. Well, that explains why. Ah... A gargle of salty infusion. Oh, more of Sumihito's famous breast milk, I see. What well, started out as a mere cough has turned into shaking chill, shortness of breath, and stabs of severe pain in the chest. You've contracted pneumonia. My life is in your hands. No, it's not. We're fucking dead again. <laughs> oh, who the hell are we? Consume Pangea the second. <sighs> ah... Well, that's how we hit that 7% chance again. But look, look, look. We, we have multiple... How many have we got? We've got one, two, three, four. Granted, three from a magical girl. So let's say one, two, three, four, five. We've got five potential inheritors with aunts and uncles. And then we have four siblings. That's nine siblings overall, each with a 7% chance. Uh, running to mathematics there. That's what, like a 64% chance. Hang on, nine times seven. 63% chance of gaining. Well, I mean, it's also... I mean, that's not how it works at all. Fucking whatever. <laughs> Look, one of them will probably get it. And knowing our luck, it'll be the friggin' magical girl that gets it. The one that can't breed. Well, I guess I'll spend the next um few years trying to educate this tiny boy in... Okay, let's get let's get uh let's get you Sakura. Educate this boy because she's a magical girl with all sorts of good magical girl traits. Brave, patient. Those are good. You can't. I was gonna say tall, but obviously you can't teach a kid to be tall. Not without a rack anyway. Uh, as in the implement, not the country. So I think we'll probably leave it there for today. Um, based on the fact that we're now a tiny child again, and to be honest, any any will I had to play this game has been sapped out. Along with uh, along with my man Sugihara's uh, famous breast milk. This has been the most cursed video I've ever made for, for a CK2 campaign. And that's saying a lot because we've had some really fucking serious campaigns. Um, but when your immortal dragon god Sharingan Eyes boy whores himself to the extent that he has to commit seppuku and then his son is forced to drink a man's breast milk, it can't really go much worse than there. It can't really go much worse than there. So, you know what? I'll try and get this kid up to a decent age before tomorrow's episode so that we can immediately get back into the action. And I'm not talking about a vial of 
strange white liquid. Thank you to <laughs> the cum chalice. Thank you to Michael Mullen, Justin Walls, Scary Scurvy, Scott, Peyton Dennisar, Chicken Wang, HD, Goat Father, Iguana Squad, Sarabi, Gwen S, Asana Koto, and Sirik Through and Through for their support. The Insane TL Lovers on Patreon. Thank you for making the channel possible in the first place, although this series you're probably regretting making possible. Thank you for your support regardless. And of course, a thank you as well to Mason Fireblast, Botbin, Mal Ota, fucking my god. <laughs> <laughs> Outer Mostly, Devorda, Super Nanny 089, William H, Valkyrie, Mathematic, Demon, Monty, and Harry Suff as well for their support over at Patreon. For making the channel possible, big thank you to you guys. You have all been instrumental in this series existing. You'll have that on your conscience for the rest of your lives.